Good evening, folks. And my shit's crooked. There we go. It's a little better. How are we doing? It's Tim. It is uh, Thursday. Being on leave, I find it hard to track. Um, I hope everybody's doing all right. It is about, um, I don't know, 8 o'clock, 10 after. Kids just went to bed. I just got a shower. I'm already wet and dripping. But uh, cracking through these Taylor's tubes that I got. So today we're going to use grapefruit. And seems to smell like it. So I was on the chin. <laughs> yep, that seems about right. Put a bunch in there and hope for the best. We're going to be using the, uh... oh yeah, it's on. One of those. I'm actually gonna run wring it out pretty dry because the last last few nights I've I've started too wet and been a little foamy in the process. We're gonna use the uh, single edge. Hope everybody is doing all right. Wow, that that smells like grapefruit. That's for sure. They definitely, uh, if tart is the first thing you think of when you, when you think of grapefruit, this nails that. This smells like the, the taste of, of a grapefruit. I don't particularly love grapefruit, but I do like the smell. Um, I remember thinking when I was a kid that it would just be like a bigger orange. And this smell is exactly what I tasted. Uh, well, the taste was traumatic. This is pleasant, to be fair. And I had a pretty dry brush, and we're already, uh, cranking up a load of, uh, of lather. Plunk that back down in the middle, add some water. kids weren't uh, exactly in the mood to go to bed, so we'll see how long it is before I have to stop this and go, uh, go be a dad. I would, uh, I'd fast forward through this, except I, I run Linux full-time, or have been full-time for the last couple of months, and I haven't figured out in OpenShot how to, uh, Accelerate the video play. I couldn't figure out how to do a text overlay the other night either, which was a little weird because, you yeah, know, that's in Windows Movie Maker. But it's not, it's not Linux's fault. This is just a piece of software that I happen to have. Uh, I'm running, I was running 13.10, Ubuntu 13.10, now I'm running 14.04. I quite like it. It's fixed a few things for me. I was having some video problems, um, and I get I get anxious about because I have an ATI video card or AMD, I guess, but it was ATI when I bought it. Um, video card and the open source drivers are pretty good, but uh, Chromium really, really didn't like using the video card for video acceleration or acceleration of videos, streaming content, like, you know, YouTube. So I uh, went ahead and installed the binary blob, which, uh, which was fine, ran really well, and Chrome was even less happy about that because every time I would turn, uh, turn the GPU acceleration on in the flags section, uh, Chrome would do me the favor of just 
shutting down and not working. So I don't know if it was a kernel module thing or just an incompatibility with the particular version of the driver in the uh, in the repos, but whatever. Upgraded the 1404 and it's it's just fine. This still needs just a smidge of water. And I don't mind. Hope you guys don't have shit to do. Still haven't uploaded last night's shave. I meant to do that when I went to the market today and I totally forgot, so for that, I'm sorry. Last night we used Tom's avocado and it was amazing, but you should watch that video first. Well, in an ideal world, I'm not going to tell you how to use your time with yours. That, uh, that looks pretty good. That's how I like it. A little bit of flop. Still looks a smidge dry, but we'll see. Let's get some on the face and see. Well, nope, that's pretty good. Wow, that is grape fruity. It's, uh, I picked out Eternity Summer to wear after this, because it opens with a shot of grapefruit that's, uh, quite nice. And, uh, it's, this has got all of the tartness of grapefruit, whereas that it, what they use in the Eternity doesn't quite hit all of it, so I would say that this is more a thorough sensory experience, just because um, you get that sharp, bitter tanginess that at least I think of when I think of grapefruit. But that's kind of a flavor aspect. But since flavor and smell are so intertwined, I could see exactly why they uh, made the decision to do it like that. Wow, there is quite nice. Kind of proud of this one. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, let's get to it. The old uh, gem with a with a brand new blade. I used this to shave my wife's legs last time I did that, and boy, does this work nice on legs. Really nice. I don't know about from, you know, if you're shaving your own leg perspective, because man, the handle short. But to do somebody else's, my goodness. I guess it was better off over here. So I've been thinking about taking notes for making videos. You guys are just getting extra videos because I'm on leave and I ain't got shit else to do. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out where I want the camera. I'm not going to, like, change the format of a shave video. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, but more or less thinking about, do I actually want to have something in mind to discuss when I start? Because right now I just get out of the shower, put on my pajama pants backwards, and put on a t-shirt and hit go. And the pajama pants are backwards because I'm going commando because I really like air drying while I shave. Because uh, no matter how hard you try with a towel, you're never getting it all. Let's screw that. Can't get the angle. I've never been able to get the angle right for with the green on my nose. 
so it gets tuggy with this thing, but it turns out if I come across, it's more comfortable. Like, way more comfortable. This has dried a smidge. Shit, wrong way. Oops, excuse me. Oops. We went the wrong way. Okay, so a little bit more water in this. I think that will help things a bit, except to dry out a smidge. Oh my, that was a lot of water. Oops. Oh well. If I own a brush that's capable of fixing this, it's this one. It was really cushiony, but it didn't have much slickness, which should have told me. Uh, but it was really good. Not quite tabac cushiony, but still. Uh, so that's the interesting thing about lathers, is the, the longer you've been wet shaving, the more you learn, the more you learn about the mechanics of lather. You'll eventually put the pieces together that if you go a little bit drier, you get a lot of cushion. Or if you go a little bit more wet, you get a lot of slickness, and you can you can alter the way your soaps perform because I would imagine if you're shaving with the straight, you might want a little more cushion than slickness. Uh, I also could be talking completely out of my ass on that one, but that's just kind of what sticks out in my mind. It makes sense mechanically to me. Yeah, that's that's a lot more. Now we have about as much as we did when I started, except this is a little bit more wet, which wet is better. And no burn, that's good. Well, from the from the lather, I've gotten a lot of sun the last few days. Face is a little bit sunburnt, but not, not too badly. Who posted the video? I remember seeing a video where somebody did a demonstration. Oh, it was on uh, Big John's blog. I think is where I found it. I don't know if it was... No, it wasn't Papkovich. It was a video from Jeremy. Um, Jeremy Wilson. Who did a video about brush care. And not mashing your brush and I'm trying to take that to heart Jeremy and it makes sense and I understand why Scott said what says what he says and anybody that deals with brushes professionally tells you the same thing so I'm trying to listen to your advice and thanks for the heads up because well you know Sweetness. Let's get to it. Number two coming at you.
just do this cross again. Why not? Upper lip is starting to become happy. That's it's been getting a little more sensitive the last few days. So I think let's see what, we, what actually has a blade in it over here. Tech, sweet. The last pass we're gonna use the tech on my upper lip because you know irritation sucks. It was a very upper lip, notwithstanding, very comfortable pass. Lather seems to be dialed in a lot better with the addition of some water. And the, the, the smell is still quite amazing. I think it was Rod Neep, crafter of this piece of artwork, uh, who asked, uh, asked me to mention how I like this soap. And, well, there you have it, or sorry, cream. There you have it, Rob. I quite like it. I can dig it. A little tingle on the upper lip from it, which anytime I use a tailor's that's not St. German or German Street, uh, I kind of always expect irritation just because that was my first experience with tailor stuff. You know, because I'm not self-conscious enough about my double chin. Go ahead and stick it out. I just, I think I got the corner of my mouth there. Oh, well. Shit happens when you party naked, right? Now I'll finish off the mustache area with the, uh, the tech. Yep, sure did. The tech right now has my uh, Lord L6 handle. I don't have any idea what blades in this. I'll look in a sec. There we go. The face is a little tender from the sun. It's a Persona Red.
I've gotten in the habit of checking down here because I usually let a little bit of lather hide under my pumpkin Adam's apple. There we go. That's not bad. So, I want to do something really stupid. This stuff has a shit ton of alcohol in it. But I also put a bunch of glycerin in it. Forgive me if I scream. And like, really good feel, because glycerin. Okay, that one better than expected. That's like I poured a bottle of grain alcohol on me. Oh. Lemony. Wowie. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, it tastes so bad. So uh, there's what we got left in the brush. Try and not overexpose that so much. And mm, in the bowl. to hear you clean up, Tim. That's stupid. You're not even talking. So, uh, let me go ahead and I just couldn't find it. Uh, Nivea Balm. Not that much. Stuff is soothing. Oh, it's nice. And as advertised earlier, the turn of the summer. It's not bad. I got them on sale. Super, super grapefruity. Not the uh, most potent juice on the planet. That'll be uh, that'll be worn off probably by the time I go to bed. I mean, it goes, it goes skin scent in two hours, three hours, and it'll it'll hang. Close for a while, uh, but I don't expect it there when I wake up. It'll be just completely gone by then. Whereas something like, um, oh, I don't know, probably amber. This is such uh, a longevity beast on me. I can spray this on. Still have it. Still have it going strong. Like two, three days later, uh, on on my clothes. It's absolute monstrous. And the other one I have like that is uh, Bond Number no. Nine. I think it's Manhattan. It's the one that's called Bond Ventus. It's it smells a lot like a Ventus. Um, that stuff hangs out for a while, and Tom Ford's. Oh God, where is it? Uh, tobacco Vanilla is this stuff is. If I cracked this open, I'd smell it in here tomorrow morning. It's it's legendary. It's it's really really amazing. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. If you have questions or you want me to talk about stuff, let me know. Uh, do you like my just pull this out of my ass format, or do you want me to try and take notes um, down there in the deal? Let me know, please. Um, yeah, have a good one.